Hello. Chepstow Castle is the oldest surviving post-Roman stone fortification in Britain. Located above the cliffs on the River Wye, construction began in 1067 under the instruction of the Norman Lord William Fitz Osborne. In the 12th century, the castle is used in the conquest of Gwent, the first independent Welsh kingdom to be conquered by the Normans. It was subsequently held by two of the most powerful Anglo-Normans of medieval England, William Marshall and Richard de Clare. However, by the 16th century, its military importance had waned, and part of its structures were converted into domestic ranges. Although regarrisoned during and after the English Civil War, by the 1700s it had fallen into decay. With the later growth of tourism, the castle became a popular visitor destination. Chepstow Castle is situated on a narrow ridge between the limestone river cliff and a valley known locally as the Dell on its landward side. Its full extent is best appreciated from the opposite bank of the River Wye. The speed with which William the Conqueror committed to the creation of a castle at Chepstow is testament to its strategic importance. There is no evidence for a settlement there of any size before the Norman invasion of Wales, although it is possible that the castle site itself may have previously been a prehistoric or early medieval stronghold. The site overlooked an important crossing point on the River Wye, a major artery of communications inland to Monmouth and Hereford. At the time, the Welsh kingdoms in the area were independent of the English crown, and the castle in Chepstow would also have helped suppress the Welsh from attacking Gloucestershire along the Severn shore towards Gloucester. The cliffs beside the river afforded an excellent defensive location. Building work started under William Fitz Osborne in 1067 or shortly afterwards. The Great Tower was probably completed by about 1090, possibly intended as a show of strength by King William in dealing with the Welsh. Further fortifications were added by William Marshall, Earl of Pembroke, starting in the 1190s. The wood in the doors of the gatehouse have been dated to the period 1159 to 1189. Marshall extended and modernised the castle, drawing on his knowledge of warfare gained in France and the Crusades. He built the present main gatehouse, strengthened the defences of the mid bailey with round towers before his death in 1219. In 1270, the castle was inherited by Roger Bigod. He constructed a new range of buildings in the lower bailey as accommodation for himself and his family. The castle was visited by King Edward I in 1284 at the end of his triumphant tour through Wales. From the 14th century, and in particular the end of the wars between England and Wales in the early 15th century, its defensive merit declined. In 1312, it passed into the control of Thomas de Brotherton, Earl of Norfolk, and later his daughter Margaret. It was garrisoned in response to the rebellion of the Welsh in 1403, with 20 men-at-arms and 60 archers. But its great side, limited strategic merit, and location all probably contributed to the Welsh forces avoiding attacking the castle. The castle saw action again during the English Civil War, when it was in the front line between Royalist Monmouthshire and Parliamentary in Gloucestershire. It was held by the Royalists and besieged in both 1645 and in 1648, eventually falling to the Parliamentary forces on the 25th of May 1648. After the war, the castle was garrisoned and maintained as an artillery fort and barracks. It was also used as a political prison. By the 1840s, tourism was continuing to grow, particularly with day trips on steamships from Bristol. At the same time, the courtyard of the castle began to be used for local shows, fates, and increasingly from the 1880s, historical pageantries, sanctioned by the Duke of Beaufort. Chepstow Castle is now open to the public and since 1984 has been in the care of the Welsh Government body with the responsibility for protecting, conserving and promoting the built heritage of Wales. There are special events held often in the castle and visitors are now able to walk along the battlements and into Martin's Tower. I shall now stop talking so you can enjoy a tour around the castle. Thank you for listening.